Hey coach, so glad you found the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and national rankings and all those things in your gym. Uh, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a community of like-minded coaches. We just got off an hour and a half call. Come over and join us and let's head off to the video. Okay. All right. All right, coach, do you have a drill or something you do at practice that you would that that a that a coach that's listening would that it would enjoy or you find useful or whatever I don't know. Well, when you anybody that talks to me, I'm I'm a post player. I love the post, and the one of the uh, drills that I like to do is called the post offensive rebound. And what you do is you put a cone about three quarters of the way up up the lane in the center of the lane. My post player is on the wall, baseline side. He pushes off the wall. He back pedals to the cone. And then around the cone, he's going to turn and sprint towards the basket. I'm throwing the ball up every which way but loose. It, but the goal is you got to jump. You got to grab the ball with both hands because it's going to be a bad pass. It's going to be a bad rebound. We grab it with both hands right. if at all possible. Then you're going to shoot it properly in the square and it's a jump on that too so it's back pedal sprint jump two hands jump and shoot it okay and what's the hardest part for them in this drill the hardest part is the two hand and i do that on purpose because I, I that one i hate to see that one hand grab you better have big hands if you're gonna do one hand that's how you it, say right, you have big hands. right be able to like yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that's the hardest one. I make, purposely make that part hard. But the second one I find, especially working with, and I this was my first year coaching high school boys, they think because they're tall, they don't have to jump. Or they don't have to box out. Yes, so, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, even on the shots, they feel like I'm tall. I can just put it up there. No, dude, you got to jump because, I mean, that's going to set you up for a possible M1 and it, it's going to get you right there at the rim and the probability of missing lessons each time. And so I always ask us, do they cheat in this drill and how do they cheat? Because they always cheat in drills, at least, I, I find. The, the back shortcuts, pedal. they take any shortcuts. Yeah, the, ba the back pedal. The, the back pedal, they're, they're not driving. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, they just, they sprint rather than back pedal? What do they do? Well, the, the back pedal isn't driven. It's just kind of just just going backwards but not pedaling right okay and so i if i catch them you know it's almost like you know when you see those uh defensive backs going back i want i right. want that i want that yes, yeah the high knees the exactly yeah, that's, that's, until that's, you get to the cone when you see the cone now you got to on the dime stop and sprint okay on the v, yeah on the v. Oh, i can see how they would cheat on that because they yeah that's a, that's an easy yeah. out all right that was great coach hey coach so glad you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Actually, if you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.